hot chocolate. Ooh, and a cookie. Sup, fishies. How's it going? Open your gills and let me tell you a story. It's the story of two worlds meeting, and against all odds, getting along pretty well. That's where I come from, the link between both worlds. No pressure, right? So Volko was the one who taught me the ways of the water. <laughs> ah, good times. So, turned out my half-brother, King Orm, wanted to conquer the surface world. So much for brotherly love. Not that people here were any nicer. Hey, are you Aqua Woman? Mira. Her name was Mira. She did not want to clash between the surface and the sea. She thought I could help. And after all the mayhem caused by Orm on the surface, I just had to swim her way. Didn't think me getting captured was part of her plan, though. But hey, a fight to bring peace? Bring it on! Man, I'll give Orm this much. He sure knew how to draw a crowd. Shame for him I wasn't in the mood to play. Orm didn't seem to like the idea of losing fair and square. It'd take a little creative thinking to get past those attack points. My usual attacks weren't working. Yeah, that seemed to work. Did <laughs> you? 
Finally out. <laughs> We're starting to get some. Just for a sec, I thought he'd give up. But I guess I should have known. After all that, it still wasn't over. <sighs> I had a feeling it was gonna be one of those days. You think you've got what it takes to beat me? Better think again. That's one sweet hug. Good luck on your date, bro. That'll keep the surface safe for a while. How's it going, small fries? Missed the best hero of them all, did you? Me and Mira had been busy looking for King Atlan's long-lost trident. Turns out it would give its holder mastery over the seas, which would be kind of useful when going up against my little bro. After a bunch of searching, running, climbing, falling, jumping, and some flying, Whew. We finally got a clue to where it was hidden. I was glad to get back to swimming. <laughs> no, not that kind of swimming. Yeah, that's better. And faster. Very important when you're trying to get away from so many teeth and so many claws. But we got rid of them. Piece of fish cake. And finally, in the depths of the hidden sea, we found Atlan's trident. Yeah! <laughs> After that, I just had to unite the Seven Kingdoms and convince them that I could be their king. 
But Orm wasn't gonna make it easy, and the biggest water fight ever was about to start. Permission to come aboard? It turned out uniting the Seven was easier said than done, especially with Orm on our case. Freeing those fishermen would be a good place to start. It looked like we made ourselves some new friends. Orm didn't seem too happy about it. Probably why he sent some of his buddies after us. By defeating the trench in battle, we'd won their respect and convinced them to change sides. Things were looking up. Just then, Orm managed to knock out the power. If we wanted to communicate with King Narius, we'd have to find a way to fix it. Fast. Mira managed to convince her dad to join with us. I think that was the last straw for Orm. Orm didn't seem to think too much of me winning our little popularity contest. It was time to teach him a lesson or two about being a king. Yeah. <laughs> 
seems that Orm still had a few friends. They weren't gonna make this easy. Orm tried calling for more help, but it looked like his plans were about to be all washed up. Just like that, the tides turned on Orm. Peace returned under the seas, and I took my place as king. <laughs> 